Hello my good people, this is Gladys back here again and as always I love to come back to you because I love interacting with you and today we are going to address this special topic about fear but I'm going to call this video Beyond Fear as we all have heard or as we know fear is one of the greatest enemy to success because fear gets the best grip of you when you plan to do something or in life once in a lifetime if you have been in that situation i have i've been in a situation where i plan to do things and then once i have all the plan next thing i you know adrenaline kicks in and then i'm asking myself how is it going to turn out or suppose it does not turn out what is the next plan it's good to ask yourselves all those plans because they help you to plan for the next step or plan b as they call it but one thing that we need to bear in mind or one thing that you can witness with me is that fear indeed is the greatest one of the greatest enemy of success because fear has this certain power or energy that it just makes you feel kind of lethargic or kind of, you know, not motivated to step forward, to push forward. So to go beyond fear, you have to have the guts to say that I am ready to go for this, whether it turns out positive or negative. When we enter into contract of doing something, you go in with positivity, expecting good, and you put your best, your best leg forward. You do your best in making sure that it comes to fruition of what you want. But what happens if you don't have that inner motivation? If you give room to fear, if you start questioning yourself, not only how you are going to do it, but then if it does not happen, if you give that power to the people, because most of the time why uh, I've spoken to a few people, even me included, when I have tried to factor in about the third person, what is going to be the opinion? It delays or it pushes me back from taking action. So we have to, leave this idea if we want to succeed in life we have to ignore this idea of thinking about what will somebody say or what will people say if you decide to go forward to do something if you lay a strong foundation a good foundation if you do your best in doing whatever you plan to do you will get the results and if you don't get the results that you expected to get, you will not be discouraged. You will find a way to make it better. And that's what's happening currently in Unpassive. I am here as one of the affiliates in Unpassive, and I have looked or watched the company through the years. I know that the company has been doing a lot behind the scenes. Uh, I have tested the products of Unpassive. I am specifically passionate about Omer. I'm passionate about Oconnect. And I can bear witness that from my own experience, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of inner strength. It takes a lot of inner will to be able to withstand all that has been going on lately. The CEO came out and was open and told us that things were not going exactly the same way that he intended in terms of the timeline. But he said that the company has been working hard behind the scenes. He said that do not worry, things are being worked in place and finally we will be busy. Now this becomes a decision time. You know, for some of us, the affiliates, they are those who are very self-driven, they are those who are very positive, they are those who are expecting good, they are those who are ready to wait as long as it takes until things happen for the better. But there are also those who are discouraged. There are those who are giving in to fear. There are those who see that this is the end of the world. It's the end of everything. And they don't have any ounce of inner will that is remaining to keep them going. Of course, nobody will force someone to continue doing something that they don't want. I am not that person. But I am that person who always says, it's your time now to decide.
it's your time to decide. Do you want to wait and be patient and see the good results that we have been told by our CEO and our COO? Or do you choose to give up? For me, I'm going to share my own experience, why I choose to hold on, to stay positive, because first of all, it's because I have a lot of trust. I've built trust through time about the company, and surely I want to be in this story that is being written, that is going to be history in the future, that will be read something that is going to reshape the planet, how things are done, how business is done, how the internet is used. A company that is going to give good contribution, you know, to the development of uh, technology. I want to be part of that history. And I will hate, when I look at big companies, there are things through my years that I have missed the opportunity to step in. And now that you know, when my kids, my first one questions me or asks me, mommy, did you ever hear about this? How come I don't see you in this and this? I'm like, I never even know when it started. And if it is, you know, whenever it started, it was not made public to, to me, or it was not made public to us. Or if it was made public to us, I was naive. I did not, you know, think of joining. Here I am, I don't want to be the one to miss out. I don't want when my kids reach that time when they ask me, mommy, did you ever hear about this company called On Passive? Why didn't you join? I wanna be able to say I was there. I want to be able to say that I saw everything unfolding. I want to be able to sit and explain to my grandchildren what happened when. So all these things that are happening, I think are just making the story more interesting, are just also helping us, you know, to develop some kind of patience. You know, in this world, I think sometimes we are used to just asking and getting right there. It's like the kids that we are raising now. They ask for something, they don't get it, they are sad, they think you don't care. It's like the microwave generation, as they call it. It's the instant, everything right on. But I think, uh, you know, for those who are patient, for those who are waiting, I know we would want things to happen yesterday. Our CEO has said himself he could have wanted this to happen a long time ago because he knows that uh, many of us who are in, who are passionate, we are really counting on it because we have a bigger mission that we want to work on to uplift humanity around the world. And how can we do this if we don't have enough resources? But we can do something small. We can give some things that are not monetary. We can love on people. We can encourage people. We can support people. It's so much going on around the world that needs people to have hearts that care, that needs people to have hearts that are not selfish. When people have selfish hearts, they will want to do everything that will highlight on them. But when people have good hearts, they will do things that highlight others without any self-vested interest. Because they can be also highlighting with self-vested interest. But let us be loving on people, encouraging people. I love what I see what our brother Mary and Chris are doing in highlighting new faces. Keep it up, keep pushing on. Let's wait patiently, let's be happy. And I can't wait, as I always say, for us to reach that time when we come and sit together. Imagine everything that is unfolding now. These are things that we'll be sitting and talking and uh, chatting. laughing over. Thank you so much. I love you and thank you for always bearing with me. Bye-bye for now.